Welcome to the North Pole, the home of one of the most famous people in the whole wide world. up reindeer is a very important job, Patty. Why, what'll I do if the snow monsters gobble you and the other children up before you can find the reindeer? <laughs> we'll all be in trouble then. <laughs> oh, quit your kidding. We don't want to scare our dear little Patty. Well, they don't scare me any. Look. See, like if I saw the snow monster and I was his puppet, I'd walk right up and say, now go away, you guys. If that didn't work, I'd scream. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not worried about snow monsters, because the only ones I know of are the ones in fairy tales. And who's the best teller of fairy tales? Grandma Claus is! Trouble is, she believes in them. Now, it's true that Grandma Claus was known for her storytelling, but she had also lived a lot longer than most people. So it just could be she knew some things that even Santa himself didn't know. They're for real? No! Monsters? Why you better believe there are snow monsters? And I want you children to understand that just because you haven't seen them doesn't mean they don't exist. But how come nobody else has I seen them? I think it's just a bunch of baloney, don't you? Show it is Why? nice for you to interrupt. It'd be wise for you to pay attention, Polly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. Now, if you can make the climb to the mountaintop and ride those two logs down to Santa's workshop without managing to get into any mischief along the way, I think Santa may have a very nice surprise in store for you. But you must watch out for snow monsters on your way up the mountain. That is why it's very important for you to carry torches, because fire is the only thing that will frighten them away. All right now, girls, are we ready? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Just one right after the other. Okay, Marty, you're next. Yay! <laughs> when you think of the fun those young folks will have, it makes you wish you could go along with them. That's providing old Grandma Claus's nonsense about the snow monsters hasn't got them too scared to have fun. But as the children made their way through the woods, they quickly forgot about Grandma's warning and instead began thinking about what kind of surprise she meant that Santa might have in store for them. Just nobody get lost or do anything silly. Yeah, I want to find out what Santa's surprise is. I think he's going to let us round up the reindeer. Oh boy, I don't know, Patty. I thought you could use this. You're staying up awfully late. It's just that each year it takes more time to plan my deliveries. Not that the world gets any larger, of course. It's only that there are more children born every year. I trust that our boys and girls are all right. They should be almost up the mountain now. And sure enough, the top of the mountain was in sight. And none too soon. This was supposed to be fun. The torches are burned out. I'm so tired I can hardly walk. Marty, you're always hungry. You're always tired. And we don't need the torches. It's almost light. Yeah, you need the exercise, Marty. <sighs> all right, that's it. I just can't take this. I quit. What do you mean? You're not a quitter. You're going to the top, Marty. Now, come on. <sighs> We made it! We made it! Yay! Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Come on, up you go. <laughs> See, Marty, that really wasn't so bad. Oh. It's beautiful. Sure is. Like a great big shiny jewel. And it belongs to everyone in the whole wide world. Know what? I heard. It's really made from cheese. You're thinking of the moon. Just imagine if the Earth were made out of cheese. Wouldn't that be great? Not really. Especially with you living here, it wouldn't be so great. It'd be eaten in no time. <laughs> 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 Wait, where are we supposed to see the world? 
workshop from up here? It's right down the mountain in that valley there. That's a long way to ride those logs. It'll be fun. I can hardly wait. Are the logs ready? They're, They're ready. ready. Can they Can we go, all, please? please? We have teams all picked out. Well, in that case, we better get going right away. Time's a wasting. Now, here's just how we'll do it. We're going to start right up there, about a half a mile or so, and we'll ride those logs right on down to the bottom. Now, whoever's going, follow me. So then, everybody set? You We're ready, ready, ready. Sure. <laughs> you can push off now. Say we catch those boys. Let's okay, push. Go! Let's see the At this time of year, Santa's workshop was a very busy place. Watch out, right. Take it easy with that. Take okay, it easy with that. Okay. Uh, all, right. all right, you two, clear that lumber there. We've got a lot more to stack. Let's go. There's lumber here to make toys for everyone on your list. That's providing you don't make a stop at the same house twice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks to me like Bert and the children. <laughs> we made it to the bottom first, so we get to choose whatever we want to do, and I vote we go to the ice pond. All right, Polly, you got my vote. Yeah. We could have beaten you guys, but our log was heavier. Isn't that right, Uncle Bert? Yep. Right. Children, Santa's got a surprise for you. A surprise? Are you going to let us round up the reindeer? Uh, yes, I am. But understand now, the reindeer have to be back here in time for them to pull my sleigh. We won't let you down, Santa. I know you won't. That's why I'm trusting you to do it. Well, come on, guys. Let's go. We still have time to skate before we get the reindeer. See there? Too young for such a job, you ask me. I recall you being half that age on your first roundup. See, it's real easy. Come on, Marty. Bobby will give you a hand. That's right, you're doing great, Marty. Now try it solo. Uh, all right, all right. Watch your balance. Right. Oh, faster, 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 faster. Nice landing, Marty. Thanks. You're welcome. Why don't we show them up, girls? Let's move out. When will I ever learn to keep my big mouth shut? How do I change direction on these? <laughs> Better than my landing! <laughs> oh, that's them! Right up there on the lake! Eh? The nerve of those kids! Why, they are supposed to be rounding up reindeer! Whatever should we do? We should have them get to it, is what? <sighs> All right, now keep in formation! That's it! Oh, so that's it. She can't catch us! What do you say, Marty? Let's try! Right! And to think that Santa trusted them. 
You children are acting very irresponsibly and selfish. Without those reindeer, there won't be a Christmas this year. Now, now, yeah. Henry. But they're being negligent, sir. Children? Well, sometimes children have to be children, Henry, and that doesn't mean they're being bad. Now, those children are very responsible. Why, just a while back during our first storm of the year, those youngsters asked me to go along with them. They wanted to make sure that any poor animals without food or shelter would be taken care of. So at their insistence, Joseph and I hitched up the small sleigh, took the children and some food, and ventured out into the woods. Oh, boys! Whoa! Holly, look over there! Why, it's a little fawn. Wonder where its mama is. And so, with Uncle Jeb carrying the little fawn, we all went off in search of its mother. The cave there! The mother's in it! Set the little fella down, Jeb. If that is his mother, he'll be the first one to know it. Now, Polly, I imagine they could use some food. I'll take it. Don't be afraid, you guys. I'm just bringing you something to eat. Here. This food is our present for you. Bye. At first, it looked as though the mother deer didn't trust little people bearing gifts. But then she slowly pulled the food toward her young fawn, and he began to eat. Yeah! Look at him. Go for it! Well, we did it. We brought him home in time for Christmas. Well, I was being a little hard on them. I... Henry, there wasn't any harm done. See, they're leaving now. All right, All right we're off to find the reindeer. And so the children are off to the woods, where they may find some creatures that aren't quite as friendly as reindeer. But why are we following rabbit tracks if we're supposed to be rounding up the reindeer? Because the tracks show the rabbit's by himself, and that means he's probably lost and hungry. And you know Santa would want us to feed him. You're right, Patty. It's just that I'm getting a little tired. You gonna be a quitter? Or said I'm just tired, all right? I don't know why I'm carrying the food. Doesn't mean she can't be tired, Polly. Come on! Hey! What do you see, Marty? I think I found where he is! Hey! <laughs> all right! Come on! Well, what do you think? Is he in there? Sure, well, that's the kind of hole where rabbits live. But nobody's home, Polly. Well, let's look inside. Good idea, Bridget. You look. If you guys knew anything at all, you'd see those fresh tracks lead away from the tree. Oh, what is it? Him. We found our little rabbit. himself stuck here in the tree. But how do you pick him up? Yeah, Polly, you gotta be Just careful not to like hurt this. him. That's how you pick oh. him up. He's precious. He is sweet. Let me see him. Look how calm he is. He doesn't look frightened at all. Yeah, because see, he can sense we're not going to do anything that could hurt him. But still he might kick. No, not as long as you hold him real gently just like that he won't. Look, he's right. But you should never handle any kind of wild animal unless you're with a guy who knows what he's doing. Okay? Yeah, right? but how do you know so much? Because I studied, that's how. Uh-oh, Polly, what is it? Something's wrong. Something's scaring him. Over there, it's a fox. It looks like he's got his eyes on this rabbit. Do something, Polly. Okay. I don't think a snowball will do it, Polly. Oh, yeah? Just watch. Oh. Oh, no. He spied a whole bunch of rabbits over there. Well, go on, Polly. Give him your best shot. Shucks! Oh, no, Polly. Go on, little rabbits. You've got to run. Hurry up. Get out of here. Oh, 
Sure took care of him, I'd say. Now get. You bad fox, go find somebody your own size to pick on. You really shot him, Marty. He's still trying to figure out what hit him. <laughs> I like how you waited till we tackled him. Yeah, pretty good plan, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but now what do we do with this little bunny here? He's still so weak. Having to watch his friend try and outrun that fox scared him half to death. He's still frightened. Look at him shake. Maybe we should take him with us. He really needs his mother, I think. Yeah, but if he's not able to find her, then he could die, you guys. I know what. Get the food, Polly. Maybe his mother will smell the food and come back for him. Nuts and berries coming right up. Mm. There you go, little bunny. Well, go on now. Eat up, Bunny. All right, he's going for it. Oh, look. The rest of the rabbits have returned, Patty. All right, you better get out of sight or they won't come. I'll spread the food out. Monica, come on. Get back here with the rest of us. Monica! Come on. You embarrass me sometimes, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think our little bunny's gonna be all right now. One of those gotta be his mother. I knew I'd find you there. What are you working on, dear? Mm, well, just banking my list, checking it twice. Tell me the truth. Are you still certain you did the right thing? Yes, if you're referring to having the children go find the reindeer, you can't simply tell children they're trustworthy. You have to give them a chance to show it. Uncle Jeb said we'd find the reindeer near the place where he took us camping last year. You sure this is the way, well, Bobby? I think it's the same way we went last year. Do any of you guys remember? It doesn't look the same, Bobby. What do you say, Marty? I wondered how long it'd be before you asked the advice of a real woodsman. Hey, Patty, why don't we have Marty be guide? You really know the way? Let me see. I believe we were going north. Yeah, that was it. Now, if I could just keep my eye on the... <laughs> 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 No, it just occurred to me, you guys. It doesn't do a person much good to know where he's going if he doesn't watch where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Cub's playing right over there. Quiet. We don't want to scare him. Look, you guys, by that tree. It must be the Mama Wolf. Aw, oh, look at her, Marty. She's pretty. I've never seen a real wolf up close like this before, have you, Bridget? Wildest thing I've ever seen is a squirrel. <gasps> Uh-oh, that guy looks dangerous. What is it? It's a weasel. Pretty mean looking. Protect him, Polly. She won't allow him to be hurt, Patty. and no mother's gonna just stand by and watch your kids get hurt. All right, you guys, we better figure out where we're going. I say we head over that way. But how do you know that's right? 
What do you think, Bobby? We vote on it. Everyone in favor of following Patty just... <gasps> <gasps> Up in that tree there. <gasps> Something's scaring those birds. Look, you guys, it's that stupid weasel. Come on, we gotta help save those birds. Let's go! <laughs> Marty. Oh, I don't mind. When she was a baby, I used to carry her with me everywhere I'd go. Wasn't much bigger than that. Hmm. Oh. Monica! Monica! You gotta hold on, Monica! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You never used to drop me, Marty. Yeah, well, it just may be because you were never so heavy before. <laughs> Sounds like a snow monster to me. <gasps> it's not funny, Marty. I saw something. Yeah, your shadow probably. <gasps> there was no shadow. <gasps> Where? You're seeing things. It's probably <gasps> just a squ snow monster. Uh -huh. Monica, maybe you should invite him to the Christmas dance. Uh-oh. Come on, Monica. You think he's so cute. Talk to him. Take him for a walk in the woods or something. Baby snow monster. It is? I believe you're right. He even sounds like a baby, doesn't he? Hi there. Do you want to play? He wants to play some leapfrog, I bet. Ready? said you wanted to see me? Yes, Joseph, I did. He mentioned it was something having to do with the children. Are they all right, sir? I assume they're all right, but they've been gone a long time. And I'd feel more at ease if you'd take Prancer and go to the mountain just to make certain I'm not assuming something that isn't so. Right. Come on now. Yeah. 
Listen now, Cruncher. Keep it up, boy. Keep it up, old boy. <laughs> Santa was worried that maybe something had happened. He sent Prancher and me to find you. What about the reindeer? Yeah, Marty even said he knows where to find the rest of them. Huh? Now, don't you remember saying that? How you knew which direction to take? That you were the woodsman and all that? And you would just follow the sun? That was before his shadow got in the way and he tripped. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to take you back first. Santa will decide what to do about the roundup. Girls will ride. Well, so far it was some days. Snow monsters, foxes, weasels, the works. I found it rather boring. Because you missed most of the excitement when you fainted. I didn't faint, I was resting my eyes. There come Joseph and the children now. I'll go fetch Mabel and Mrs. Claus. I've got the children! I'm certainly happy to see them back. Now, maybe we'll know the truth. Welcome back, children. Everyone all right? We're okay, Santa! Honest! <laughs> 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 You're not gonna believe this one, Santa! Hmm? What'd it have to do with the snow monster? We didn't have torches this time. Well, suppose you tell us what exactly happened. A big one was chasing Polly. But Polly was able to get him stuck way up in a tree. And when Prancer came, he kicked him right out of the tree, just like that. <laughs> Prancer, you're a hero. And Santa, Polly was a hero as well. Uh, I just threw snowballs at him. Truth is, I was scared. Well then, it's time for a sign. All right, but I'll need just a little assistance. Polly, if you and Bobby... Right. I'll get the boards and you bring the paint. Deal. Don't forget a brush now. Marty, what's with that long face? Um, I... Well, it wasn't very brave, ma'am. He was just as brave as any of the rest of us. It was his sense of direction that messed up. Marty's like me. The only thing we can always find is the dinner table, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, they're kind of gray. Hmm. That looks to be the right mixture. Now, go on. They're big like this and have hair all over their body. With big noses in the middle of their face. What else? Their tails are curly, and they don't stand straight up. Oh, and when they open their mouth... Rawr, rawr, rawr. No, wait a minute. How do you expect me to draw that? No, Grandpa, don't get riled. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Hmm. Won't draw a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now that will want everyone to keep out. Yay! Huh? We have to round up the reindeer. 
Santa wants Joseph to handle the roundup because he figures you had more than enough of that monster. I do. I hope I sure never see him anymore. That big guy was scary. I bet there are a few more where he came from, and right now they're likely thinking about revenge. Joseph was right. The snow monsters were angry, and he had very little time to find the reindeer. But what he didn't know was just how many angry snow monsters would try to stop him. Storm's getting worse, so I'm gonna have to hurry if I want to round up enough reindeer in order to pull the sleigh. Yeah, but what do we do if you don't make it in time? Well, we haven't missed a Christmas yet. Open that gate there. Time's a-wasting. Boondasher, come on now, up! Bye! Bye, Bye Uncle Joseph! Careful now! Make sure the sleigh is ready! I trust Joseph will be all right in this storm. Joseph's the best reindeer master there is. He'll make it. If I were you, I'd be concerned about the fact you've got 500 more deliveries to make than last year. We're planning to add a couple more reindeer to the sleigh this year. That should do it. You agree? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> wonder if he'll be able to find old Blitzen. Old Blitzen will be just fine. Don't you worry about him just because he's getting on in years. <laughs> well, it's more than Blitzen I'm worried about. It. Keep it up, keep it up. We'll be all right, boy. Wolfie, well, you watch the rear now. Hmm. Oh! I don't like the looks of this. They could be out there any place, just waiting to attack the whole herd. Don't like it a bit. Easy now, easy. What you're made of? Go on, boy! anymore. All of you keep together now. Don't straggle. Come on, move. Running the dreaded snow monsters and leading the reindeer to safety, Joseph lay at the bottom of a deep gorge, his fate unknown. There was sadness among all of the reindeer, but somehow they knew that Wolfie had to lead them home, because millions of children were depending on them to pull Santa's sleigh this Christmas. Well, yep, looks like the reindeer are... Where is he? I don't see any sign of Joseph. Well, everybody's accounted for except Joseph and Prancer. Oh, oh no. Uncle Bert, come and take a look. Wolfie's been hurt. Let me see. Now that doesn't look too bad. We'll just get a bandage on it. Joseph, had an accident? Is that it, Blitzen? Well, 
Prancer must have stayed out there to look for Joseph. Mm. There's no way to know what harm might have come to them. We'll form a search party. Count me in. Yeah, and me. We're gonna need Wolfie. Come on, boy. Get on out there. You're the only one that can find them. What if the snow's covered them up? Or even covered their tracks? Just trust Wolfie. He'll know right where to find them. Got their trail for sure. You children don't walk too close to that edge now. That would have been a big step. Just make sure that you all stay back away from that edge. What is it, boy? Where's Joseph? Just keep looking, boy. They can't be far now. Mark sounded just like Wolfie's. We made it, Prancer. We're gonna be all right. Good boy there, Wolfie. Go get him, boy. <laughs> you come by yourself, Wolfie? <laughs> hey! Hey! Joseph, we were afraid you'd be covered. She means with snow. <laughs> well, I'm sure I was, Patty. But Prancer must have dug me out. Then Prancer was a hero two times in the same day. And let's don't forget about Wolfie there. They were both very loyal and brave. I guess I owe them my life. We're all very fortunate. Now, shall we return? <laughs> Quite a surprise. Who'd have thought it? Yep. Real snow monsters. I told you. Put it on the first shelf there, Jeb. Right you are, Grandpa. Bring him right over here. Here you go, just in time. Well, what is it that you made this time? Well, I'm hoping it's not that old candy from last year. Oh. Nah, my mom made me eat that all up before it spoiled. Lucky me. That's the reason you make so much. <laughs> You look better every year, Santa. Guess what, Santa? Where do you see? A big surprise is waiting. Where do you see? It's really big. It'll make you so very happy. <laughs> what is it? I can't really tell you. What do you mean by that, Patty? You must know what it is. Well, yes, but I'm going to have to show you what it is. Now, come on. Oh. Huh? This way. Over at the window. Well, my goodness. Quite a sight. A very big surprise indeed. Joseph, we've made one more Christmas. And I'm looking forward to our making a lot more. People the world over are going to be touched by all your love and by your presence. Well, time to go.
The children had done their best and had shown they deserved Santa's trust. And not even the fiercest storm or the meanest snow monsters could stop Santa Claus from making his yearly Christmas delivery. Tonight at 7, join the quest for the unknown on Star Trek The Next Generation. And in January, you'll be able to travel farther into the final frontier than ever before on an all-new world premiere series, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, on L.A.'s very independent. <laughs>